what's up my name is Technobi here for troubleshoot and welcome back to another video in this quick guide I'll be showing you how to optimize your PC and high on life for the best possible performance though do note I will be skipping through Windows optimizations for the most part if you'd like to get more performance out of your PC I'd highly recommend checking the description down below for Windows 10 11 and Nvidia optimization guides as well as anything else that may help Obviously, before you hop into the actual game itself, it's a good idea to close as many background programs as possible and turn off any unnecessary on-screen overlays, such as the Discord overlay, any FPS counters, etc. Basically, anything that you're not using should be closed and turned off. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the actual game itself. When we get to the main menu, you can head into the settings section here, then video, and we'll start at the very top. Window mode should definitely be set to full screen, and of course, the resolution should match your display or at least be a compatible resolution. That way you won't be pushing too many pixels you don't actually see. And if it's compatible, things won't be overly blurry for no reason. VSync should be turned off unless you're getting screen tearing where the top and bottom half of your screen don't match up. Graphics quality, we'll get back here in just a moment. Motion blur, if you find yourself getting motion sick in games, this is something you should disable. Gamma is your preference and is basically just a brightness slider. Now the graphics quality section here changes all of the advanced options down below. Now of course, changing this to whatever your graphics card is, is probably the best way to start here. If you have a medium to high end graphics card, select high or even very high if you find you're getting good performance on high to begin with. If you're on a lower end graphics card, I'd recommend starting down here at low and working your way up instead of working your way down. So first of all, view distance quality, you don't need this very high at all. Anti-aliasing quality, of course, if you hate jagged edges, this is something you can turn up, otherwise it's just a performance hog. So have this off. Shadow quality, while it's not exactly a Twitch shooter, you're not going to be doing many accurate things, it is somewhat of a shooter, so you really need to decide what you want. If you want a better looking experience, set this to medium or even high, otherwise leave it on the lower end if you need more performance. This is something I'd recommend having it probably medium at lowest, that way shadows won't be too distractingly pixely. Of course, if you have a lower end graphics card that can't handle this, you'll need to crank it down anyways. Post-processing quality isn't really too necessary to mess around with. You won't notice a huge change in performance here. You'll only notice situational drops in FPS if this is set too high. Texture quality almost completely depends on how much VRAM you have in your graphics card. If you have a lower end graphics card, you should probably leave this on low. Otherwise, maybe medium if you want better textures. On higher end graphics cards with eight or so gigabytes of RAM, you can probably leave this on very high and not even need to worry about anything. Your textures will look a lot better and use minimal extra VRAM. Effects quality. Once again, if you find yourself losing FPS in certain situations, this is something you'll want to drop. This will mainly control the number of particles on your screen and how much effect they have on the environment, etc, etc. You can leave this on medium or low. It doesn't really matter here. Foliage quality, once again, if you're going for better looks, you'll probably want to leave this on medium. Otherwise, better FPS, you'll probably want to drop it down to low. Mesh quality, this is one of the less noticeable effects, except for when you're close to things and looking at them. Because you will be interacting with some things in the game, they may look a little bit weird on low. You'd probably want to leave this on medium at lowest, even on lower end graphics cards. Otherwise, if you have a better GPU, you'll probably want to set this up too high and forget about it. So with a quick recap, pretty much everything's on low, except for texture quality that should match your VRAM, foliage quality on medium, shadow quality on medium, and mesh quality on high, just so things look good when you're interacting with them, they don't look too out of place. Hit A to apply changes, and once you've confirmed it, you can head across to the audio section here where you may want to customize gun chatter. Of course, guns in this game speak to you and say things a lot. You may want to lower this down to occasional or even none if you find that it really annoys you. It's one of the things that people were laughing about when they saw the trailers for this game. So of course, if you find yourself laughing at that and it gets just too much for you, you can set it down to occasional or even none. Though this is definitely a selling point of the game, you'd probably want to leave it on instead of turning it off entirely. Anyways, with that comes pretty much the end of this guide. There isn't anything else here you really want to change. Besides this, you can just hop in game. Of course, this first section of the game does look a little bit pixely and 8-bitty. It's definitely something you won't want to measure your performance on, as your FPS here should be dramatically higher than the actual game itself. 
So if you are going to test things out, you may want to lower them for this first section. And when you get to the actual game itself a bit later on, you'll want to customize things there. So at this section here, you can see we're panning out and things are getting a little bit more realistic. Remember, I'm playing on mostly low settings and I'm getting a huge number of FPS here, even out of the intro section. So as you can already see in this first section here, things are looking really good, even on lowest settings. I'm getting a little bit of screen tearing, but that's probably because I'm cranking out almost 200 FPS on a 3080 Ti. On a 1650, you can expect anywhere between 160 or usually more than 140 on the lowest settings. On medium, somewhere around 80-ish, 90-ish. On high, somewhere around 60 or 70. And on very high, all the way from 40 to 50-ish FPS. So depending on what experience you're going for, you may want to customize your settings somewhere along those guidelines. Of course, if you find yourself with a ludicrous number of FPS like I am now and say your monitor is only 60, it's worthwhile turning up some of your settings for a better experience. You can see some aliasing around the hair here and that's definitely something that can be improved by raising anti-aliasing. On medium, things are already a little bit better and cranking it all the way up, it's a heck of a lot better. There's no more flickering and shimmering. That's pretty much gone away completely. But you can see my FPS has gone from 200 and something to 140 something. So it definitely does make a huge difference, especially between low and very high, for example. But that's for you to mess around with, and you'll need things to better match your system instead of basing them entirely off of a video. So anyways, I wish you luck in fine-tuning your experience after following the basic guidelines here. Once again, in the description down below, you'll find steps to further optimize your PC for a better gaming experience everywhere. My name is Techno Behavior Troubleshoot. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.